So greetings and welcome along to another edition of UK Focus right here on Choice of Him. My special guest in the house tonight, hailing from what area? South London, man, the ones at road, you know. Where's that? It's everywhere, Stockwell, it's, it's, it's better seas, you know? <laughs> the legendary son of the legendary Mr. Alton Ellis, we're talking the vibes of Mr. Christopher Ellis. Yes, cry not for me, my willow tree, and don't shed your tears eternally now, for I, yes, I have found the love that I've searched for. So you reckon, oh. there you go. There you go, Christopher Ellis inside the house, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, you know what I mean? Welcome to Choice of Him. Yes, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a pleasure speaking to you. You know what I mean? And you are the son of the legendary Alton. It's the godfather. You know what I mean? Uh, and you know what? I know Alton from back in the day. Yeah. Not I'm saying I'm that old, but I knew from back in the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then now I'm speaking to any of his offspring. It's, you know what I mean? It's, it's just an honor. Big man, it's an honor for me to be here still. It's Natty, by the way. Yeah. Big man. He said big man. <laughs> <laughs> he said big man. Can he say that? Can you say my name? You are a big man. Why don't you a big man? Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, it's, it's a pleasure to be here still, you know? Okay. Yeah, the station here and Tress and, and Beard, um, we not to be getting interviewed. It's a, it's a privilege, so thanks. Listen, you know what I mean? I know it all started, you know, in, like, with the dad in the music business and stuff. How was it for you growing up? Growing up was the... Ah, uh, it was great. Okay. It was great, big man. Ken will come to my house. He said guys. big man again, you know? Not TB. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but seriously, though, yeah. John Holt, these guys coming to my house as a youngster growing up. So that was like a lesson for me because I'm learning the music these times. I'm learning about these guys. Mm -hmm. So whilst I'm seeing John Holt in my house, I'm putting on a um, thousand volts of Holt. I'm saying, oh, that's him. Mm -hmm. You know? So that's that was my thing growing up. That's my apprenticeship there, learning about these guys. Now, now, now that you're in the business, you know what I mean, as an artist, you know what I mean, how do you find it? Fuck. I find it nice. It's the music. The music is great. You know, like the music, purely the music is just great. You see, like making songs and and performing live, that's just great. You understand? Maybe other things ain't so great, but the music itself just overcomes everything, so you make that win. So, what do you think? Do you think the pressure is just on you, you know, I mean, to follow like your father's footsteps sort of thing, or, you know, you just, it feels like you're just doing your own thing? Yeah, people say pressure, but I don't feel no pressure because I feel like I'm just doing. You understand? I'm just, I'm just acting out wherever. You know, they say I've got big boots to fill, but I don't have to fill no boots. Natty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you could have called me big man at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah, but seriously. Okay, listen. All right, song Willow, Willow Tree. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like more or less something that your, your father did do. Yeah, yeah, my father's song. And it was, you know, say it was Stephen Marley's idea. Okay. More, you know? It's, yeah, Stephen said, yo, let's do this tune over it. Right, let's do it. So we did it over in Miami. Okay. Yeah. Are you talking about Stephen Marley? You're working with Stephen Marley now. Yeah, I'm working with Stephen Marley. I'm on his record label as well, signed to his record label. You know, so it's been nice. That's been mind blowing as well. That's I a hear. whole next. That's a whole next interview. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Yeah, yeah but, but seriously. Um, all right. So how did the hookup come back? You and uh, Stephen. Big man, the way it come. You said it again. But it's all right. It's all right. I don't mind. That's free. But you know, I'm honouring you, know, isn't it? When I'm saying big man. No, not really. <laughs> All right then, you know what, from now on, it's natty. Thank you. You know what, it's a management's fault, you know? I hear that. You know what I'm telling me? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're Chris, right? Yeah, but, but yeah, natty, like, I'm, uh, I'm in Jamaica, and <clears throat> my father passed, and I'm just there, and it's me and David, mm -hmm. trudging in Jamaica, and we're searching for something, we don't know what we're searching for, you know? We're searching for something, just just to be in the music, and be in, you know, and and i got to say as well, I admire David, car. the man left his family to come and search out this thing with me in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a man like Scott things and got family and bills and, and he left all that and come with me in Jamaica and certain times I wake up and think, Rah, is this thing even gonna even gonna manifest? You know, and then Father God just led me right to Stephen Marley where that's the next whole door for me to to express myself, you know, in music and there's no it couldn't have went no better way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I couldn't have planned it better. God couldn't have done it any better for us, so well I give thanks. Okay, so how long you been working with Stephen? I've been working with Stephen now nearly two years. Yeah, nearly two years. It's nearly two years now we made End of Time, you know. Yeah. For yeah. real? Yeah. Nearly two years? Yeah, and we had it on Clutch. Oh. We made the song in April. Oh. Yeah, and we had it. And it's December, we said. It's time. It's time. 
Yeah. You know what I mean, it's funny you're saying that because we were wondering when is that when we, when are we going to get the official release of that song? Is it going to come on the album or? Yeah, well, the business side of it has just been sealed up. Okay. It's funny after so long, just been sealed up. So we're going to release it now. We're gonna then, re yeah, we're going to release it on the single and then obviously on the album as well. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's in demand. It's in demand. Big, big demand. Big demand. You know what I mean? Big, 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 big demand. Let's hear a song. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, I say, don't forget that lady, don't forget that lady. It's the things you do that upsets me, <laughs> but the way you move, it really excites me. I... <laughs> <laughs> Not to me! <laughs> sorry, brother, sorry, 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 you know what I mean, honestly, I mean, the song is just, it was such a big song, it yeah. still is a big song, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm so glad that you, yourself, saying that the song's going to be out, hopefully this year. Yeah, 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 big man, definitely this year, Natty, this year. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, it's be this year, and, like I was saying before, it's the music that's carrying me, you know? Because, I just realised how hard it is for artists, for the business side of things. Yeah. Things might not always go smoothly. Yeah, but you have to make the love of music overcome all that. You understand? Mm -hmm. Listen how the song sounds. It's perfect. Yeah, it's magic. Perfect. Yeah. How would you call it? What would you? How would you describe your music? Ah, oh, how would I describe my music? Ah, I've, I've been trying to answer that myself. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I've been trying to answer that myself, thinking, well, what do, what do I? But there is no, you know, there is no certain category. Obviously, it's rock steady reggae that I was born into. You understand? But if you listen to Willow Tree, the ballad version, yeah, that's different from the reggae version. Yeah, end of time is not in in any category really. You understand? English, you can come in English now, rock steady. It's like, where do I turn next? And I like how the music is like that with me. I like how you don't know where I'm gonna turn next. I was gonna say to describe your song in three words, you know what I mean? But But this tune here? Yeah. As you said it, song's big. <sighs> you know what I mean? You love it, and them thing is there is the reason why it's been so big, innit? Because you said to me, yeah, end of time, everywhere I go, I get the same love. Mm. This tune there, I mean, powerful. You, know, you got like you know Mark Steven on it. You also yeah. got like Jacky. I mean, sure, did you all do, what, did you all do it together in the same? Day? And even Cure. Check this. I'm in the studio voicing. Mm. Me and Steven voiced. I had three verses. Cure come in the studio and said, "No, I have to be on this song." The man come and hear it, beating out the speakers and said, "No, I have to be on this song." Me being a Cure fan. <laughs> so, take off my third verse. Kill him on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. And big man, and the way how we come in. Yeah. This is perfect. For real. Uh, there's somebody you gotta say hello to because they like this song. Mm. You know, if you got if you got their name already, you gotta say hello to Michelle. Yeah, it's, it's Michelle. She's from Norwood, I think. Norwood. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know. I know Michelle from Norwood. Yeah. She, she <laughs> said to her, yeah. So you have to big her up. Yeah, that. Michelle from Norwood. I hear say so you like the music, you like what's going on, you're a fan, you like what's going on with me. <laughs> hey, can I just say that? Yeah, she, she, she reckons you got it going on. Can you no, no, one level, on a serious level. Thanks for that and blessings and just keep following my music, Michelle. And you know, anyone who likes what's going on, just keep following the movement, you know. It's just a little humble thing we're doing here, trying to make songs that people like. And so far it's working. So yeah, stay with me. So what do you think of the, the British, the British reggae scene? Like, how do you think it's, you know, how it's progressing? You think it's progressing? Is it getting better? Has it got worse? You know, the yeah, new man. school. Right now, mm -hmm. I'm loving what's happening. Mm. It's like a movement. All these artists are coming out. You have artists like Stylogy. Mm -hmm. You have Gappy Ranks. Mm -hmm. You have Bucky Joe. Yeah. You understand? And these things, there's like, well, I'm loving the whole movement. You know, because this is not for me. It's not not thing where no selfish. I like how the whole thing and, it, and we can only enhance each other. That's right. You know, yeah. understand? So. And I'm hearing people talking about it, saying, "Yeah, man, the movement in, in um in English reggae right now is happening, and it's quality music as well. It's not no, you know. So that I think is great, man. Seriously, it's great. All right, um, turns back onto yourself now. I mean, all right, you've done some shows. I mean, any shows in the UK? Uh, where are you going? In any songs uh, shows in abroad? Yeah, we've got shows coming up. Um, it's funny. On Monday, I leave to go on tour. Okay. Yeah, on Monday, I go on tour with Stephen Marley. I have a, um, quite a few dates across America there. Yeah, loads, and this, this is what I dream of. Yeah, I dream of this, big man. I dream. I dream of this to be on stage, and I, to be alongside Stephen as well is a next whole mind-blowing thing for me. Yeah, I mean, deep down, how do you feel? You it's, know what I, mean? it's, I can't, it's, like I said, two years now I know Stephen. 
Yeah, the man bring me into his house, and six months I, I live with him in his house, six months straight, amongst his family and amongst his brothers. Then man, we're doing this music, and it's like every day I wake up, it feels like the first day. You know, even Stephen have to tell me that I must stop being in awe so much. You know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Tell yeah, me that, yeah. and, and just come into yourself, and because he's saying to me, I am this, I am like him, I am like who I'm seeing around. But you, I'm so, I don't know, I'm just so thinking, is this really happening? Okay, and uh, before you link, before you linked up with Steven, I mean, yeah. who, who the other producers you yeah, worked with? Yeah, I was in Jamaica with Sugar Miner, you know. Mm. When, my, when my dad first passed, Sugar said to me, come to my studio, you can stay amongst me, and the love that Sugar showed me. Oh man, Sugar Miner. I, need, I was there in the studio voicing, me and David's there every day voicing and doing our thing, and we have some tunes that I feel is my apprenticeship, so I might not want the public to hear. Mm. But you know, I have them and when I listen to them, even Sugar is harmonizing on one of the songs. Okay. Yeah. So. Can you remember any of the songs? Can you remember? Can you, like, no, just uh, run in your head. Just look at oh, acapella. Just for like, kind of let the listeners kind of feel it right now. You know what I mean? Just in case um, you do decide okay, to. Okay, I have a song where I say, Your heart is broken. Won't you let me fix it? You are so low. Won't you let me be there? I said, I can love you more than he can. I can be there. Let me be your man. That's the first. No. That's the first man ever said. I can love you. <laughs> I'm just so glad you're sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's one of the songs that, and it's funny because David loves it. Mm. David loves it. And my sister Tracy, mm -hmm. Tracy, and she loves it as well. But I'm fighting them right now. Okay. I'm thinking, no, the public can't get this. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I don't feel like it's, and it's funny because I might be wrong. Mm. But with myself, I feel like no. These songs we have here. Willow Tree, English, is a standard that I'm setting. Mm. I want to stay there mm. yeah, and even rise. You yeah, because you, because you like, because you, you know, from from your dad, the rock era, yeah. you know what I mean, and you're kind of like doing your own thing, you know what yeah. I mean, you know what I mean. I, I mean, all right, you, you jumped on some of the Studio One rhythms, you know what I mean. If you, you work with Pekins, English, English, that's yeah. right, you know what I mean. Any other producers you're planning to work with? Um, uh, you know, say it's just the music. I'm letting, I'm just letting the music. Jazzwood would be nice to work with. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mean, talking to Jazzwood, that would be nice. Like, these guys are good producers and they're doing their thing, and it's more more than the producer thing, it's more just the music. It might not have no name, but if it sounds good, I say, well, I could write a nice song to this. Mm. I will make music and sing on it. Like the song we heard just a little while ago, and we're kind of like, both of us kind of yeah. like, wait, well, hang, hang about, we're not going to call the names, but we thought, hang about, this is kind of like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I noticed like you're kind of like, mm, hold on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I kind of like that. Yeah. Listen, we're talking about English, listen, listen to the song. Yes. I remember when we first start, right in the day, you gave me your heart, you were all over me. And they thought if I went away, our love would fade, I'll never, never know nothing. Me. DK Focus. From the moment that I left you, uh -huh. every day wish I was with you. English, oh God, she's asking where are you? E <laughs> oh God, look what you're putting me through now. No. English, 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 you know. Yeah. All right, listen. I need to ask you this. Yeah. I mean, was it you, you? You're going from experience. Then <laughs> somebody broke your heart. <laughs> what? Well, you know what I mean? English is a tune where it was in Jamaica still. I, I, I gathered that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole concept in Jamaica they call me English. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they call me Alton or they call me English and English take over from the Alton. English, English. Yeah. So the whole concept was, I leave my girl in it and she's like English. Where are you? English. Cause I'm always in England or I'm somewhere else. So, I'm so, mm. so English, oh God, where are you? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it come really and the, and the song is nice and I just hope say you can get that little push there, you know. Cause how I feel about it still. Yeah, but I mean, who chose the rhythm? Was it you who chose the yeah, rhythm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Pekins said, come do something with me, man. Is that said, Chris yeah. or Duke? Yeah, Chris. <laughs> I said, yo, I'd love to do something with you, of course. And they gave me four rhythms. Mm. I was playing in my house and I thought, this one. Mm. Cause the rhythm is bad alone, you know? Yeah, as, yeah. As you know. Yeah. The rhythm is terrible by itself. So when English just sit on it like that, I said, this is it. 
this is it, David will go in the studio, this oh. is it, <laughs> this is it, David, <laughs> David, this is it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then... You know, you know what, David, I know, I, know, I know you're not a man of many words, but you know what, we have to kind of bring you up on that one. So, <laughs> you know I mean? mean? David, there's a, just grab that mic down there, you know what I mean? Put your headphones on, that's all right, you might as well stand yeah. up and whatever. Yeah, it's all right, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, what's the, what's the vibes like working with um, the son of Alton Ellis, Christopher Ellis? Christopher is summing by himself because he eats, sleeps, he does everything around music. Yeah. And the thing about it, he's, he's an organic person. It's not something, you don't have to contrive nothing with him. You don't have to push nothing with him. It come natural. You know when you've got a child who just just loves something? Yeah. Christopher loves music. So it's easy. It's easy. And he's quite young, isn't he? 13. Yeah, 14, 13. <laughs> <laughs> like all of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear that. Listen, your sister Lavella Ellis is also in, in the recording. What is is it and sometime soon we're gonna be getting a duet with you two guys on on the on the rhythm? You can almost say that's inevitable, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because we have a song already that um my father did write and said to us, Yo, sing this. The tune is tune's bad, you know, nothing. Mm. Yeah, and um, <laughs> it's like um, it's just but it's not really forcing nothing right now. Like me and my sister, we'll do a song one day. We'll yeah. do a song, yeah, and it will come. If us to do a song right now, it's too expected, and yeah, yeah, but yeah it's yeah. gonna happen. It's gonna yeah, happen, man. Yeah, 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 man. What advice would you give to anybody who was like stepping into the game now? You know what I mean? And I mean, you're more or less like you're more or less just started, really. Yeah, you could say from my own career. Yeah. Yeah, because I was a man who was singing with my dad and I was happy with that. Yeah. I wasn't thinking, oh, I want to be a star, I want to be a singer. No. I had the best job in the world. Mm -hmm. I was alongside Alton Ellis, yeah, and singing on shows with him all over the world. That was it for me. Yeah. I didn't even want any money. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. yeah. My father will come out and sing five songs, and after he's five, he'll come out and call me and I'll sing two. And that's what I do until the next show, and I was happy. But I want to say something to any upcoming artist still, because it's a serious thing. Push your thing yourself. The publicist, the manager, the whoever, they might love you as much as they, but it's yours. So mm -hmm. no one's gonna love it as much as you. you. Understand? Go out your way and push it, because now more than ever, the artists have got so much power. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The power isn't so much with the big record labels anymore. So push your music and publishing as well. Yeah. Yeah. Cause a lot of artists are making songs and yeah, man, I got the song and it's, it's no playing publishing. on radio. Publishing is where you're gonna eat food now. You know? Just like how the record sales kind of declined as well. You have to do the publishing now. So it's publishing and live performances where you're going to eat your food. Mm. You understand? So get onto BMI and these things, PRS, and register your songs, artists. It's a serious thing. Okay. So if anybody wants to hook you up, how can they hook you up? Okay. This is what I was waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need more followers, guys. I need more followers. Yeah. Half an hour. No problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and what about Facebook? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook is Christopher Ellis fan page. It's going there. You can find out what I'm doing. You know, and we've got the big tour with Stephen Marley coming up now. So we're gonna update every day. We're gonna update every day and just show people. You know, and and songs coming more. Just, just. Oh no, man. Just, just, just. You know. Do your thing. Oh, yeah. Do your yeah. thing. Well, Christopher, listen. You know what? You know what? I mean? We do love that song, English. And we're gonna uh, just before you head out. Mm -hmm. Would you mind, you know, singing at least two minutes of the song? Thank Bring you. Bring bang it, man. Play right. it. Uh, yeah. You want to play it? What do you mean? I'm going to play I'll it. Yeah, man. Alright then. And put me live as well. Oh well, oh well. Yes. Okay, this is for the ladies, yeah? Look, don't break my heart though. No? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I remember when we first start, right then and there, you gave me your heart, you were all over me. Yeah. Because I'm like, <laughs> look. And they thought if I went away, our love would fade. Oh no, never, no, not me. Me. Hey, why? <laughs> From the moment that I left you, every day wish I was with you. But as soon as circumstances let you, then you know I'm gonna get to you. English. Sing nothing. Oh God. Jeez. Where are you now? English. Bop, bop. Oh God, missing with son of Alton. Yeah. Where are you? Keep going. I can't remember the rest. Oh, oh, okay. oh gosh, she's asking. <laughs> oh, I see Anna. Get ready. I'm second listening. Verse. S second verse, yeah. All right. Here what she does. Listen. All right. I'm listening. She makes my sadness go away. Lie. And she turn my grey skies blue. And when I'm leaving her today, I say I will be more than loving you. This. Murder, murder. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Chris Big up, big up. Big up, Big up, You reckon I can do it?
can do it. Big man, me and you can go on the road and we can do this. Yes, you, you, know, you, you can't tell me them things, you know. You can go on the road. You can't be telling me that. Yeah, we do. Come check me, I'll give you one week of training and we, we hit wait, the road. Wait, so what are you saying? I need training? No, no, no. You're saying, <laughs> you're saying I need training? <laughs> no, no. Ever. Whitney Houston needs training or need the training. Okay. Yeah. All right, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to really hold you to that. Shout me. I, okay. Sh shout I'll me. I'll Twitter you. Yeah, Twitter me. Yeah, I'll Twitter you. And I'll yeah. inbox you on your Facebook. But you got to fly to me though. I'm going to be in LA somewhere. Yeah. Fly there. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Chais will do that. Man. All right, all right. You all know right. what I mean? Oh, so, man, so, so don't. Man. Yeah, you, yeah, you have. <laughs> you know what I mean? So listen, once again, be respect yeah. goes out to you. Thanks for coming in on Choice right about now, you know what I mean? Yes, and thanks we, a lot, man. Thanks you know what I mean? Me. We are feeling your song and we wish you all the success, you know what I mean? Respect. For you following your career. And we just can't wait for the album. Now, I need you to sort of like commit to this. I need mm -hmm. to sort of like, is the album going to come out next year or is it going to come out this year? The album it's a, is coming out. It's a trick out. question. You yeah. have to think about yeah, this okay, one. Yeah, okay, okay. Management, give me some kind of sign or something. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. End of part of this Now, year. listen, the album is coming out end of this year. The end of this year, you know, we're just gonna bring out some more singles to capture the people and just keep working and then the album's gonna come. I've got some songs already that the people are gonna love that's in Miami sitting down. Mm -hmm. Just sitting down secretly, just waiting. <laughs> yeah, the guy like that. Yeah, so it's the end of this year, Natty. Hey, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for real, yeah? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. All right, Chris Reynolds, listen, thanks a lot for coming in. You know, big respect, you know what I mean? Respect. Once again, studio, push that together for Chris Reynolds. Yeah. Twitter, Twitter, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Natty. Thank Sorry, you. so we'll just put, let me turn you off. Thank you. Yeah. No, no, thank you. Yeah. No, thank, thank, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And you. Thank, thank you. You. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Porsche. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Nadine, thank you. Nadine, big up. Cameraman, thank you. Camera. You, the listeners. You, the viewers. Thank you. Listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play out with a song. Ah. Oh.